Well, you did it, Adam. You done graduated, Katie. Congratulations. A year ago, I barely even knew you. Nine months ago, we started hanging out, and now you're one of my best friends. If uh, you would have told me that a year ago, I would have told you you were crazy. Of course, I still call you crazy, but that's besides the point. Um, I've loved our camping trips together, our hiking trips together. Um, they've been a blast and really meant a lot to me. You're a great friend, and uh, most importantly, though, you're a, you're a godly man, and you, and you love the Lord. Um, you're going to do a lot of really good work for him up in St. Louis and around the world, and I can't wait to see it. Uh, congratulations on graduating. Um, it's been a pleasure knowing you, and I can't wait to see where our friendship goes and uh, where you end up. So uh, take care up there in St. Louis, and uh, if you're ever back in Rolla, door's always open. Love you, man. Hey, Adam. I am so blessed to have you in my life, and I think Abby is also blessed to have you in our lives. It's been pretty wild. I still don't remember when you met me with my ridiculously long hair. But I'm honored that God has kept us friends, no matter the length of the hair on my head, and no matter what facial hair is attempted. It's been so wonderful to watch you pursue after God and care so deeply for others. I'm excited about what I've seen God do through your life for his kingdom. Congrats on graduating, man. I love you a lot, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there, Adam. Adam, I was being able to have a, the last year of just entirely fun times and to just be able to experience just how much you love God and how much you have a passion to just bring joy to others' lives. And while you are very outgoing and outdoorsy and eccentric, there is another side of you that is very personal and very deep and has a desire to just grow so deep into what God has for you and wants to share that love with others. And I've always got to enjoy being around you, even through rough times, and even when we went, or just times we got to go swimming together in the big blue lake. But thank you, Adam, for being able to share some of that with me and for our time together. Hope your life goes well. And here we are at Adam Brooks's favorite place, the Lions Club Disc Golf Course, here at hole number three for the tap-in. I thought about making an unplanned trip, but I just couldn't get the plans together. Oh, it's okay, Mitch. Don't worry about it. So anyhow, here we are, hole number three, Disc Golf Course for Adam's graduation video. One of the things I really like about him is He's a nucleation site for groups, and he's constantly pushing groups together or pulling them together and having good theological conversations and good social conversations, etc. He really likes to take a bunch of random people and go off on trips and have really deep conversations with them over the course of said trips, even if it's at the detriment of his own health or his own grades, and that's a really admirable quality of Adam. So now, to finish this out, we have his favorite shot, the almost, but not quite. Alex, from freshman year, being silver greens to now, um, you started out as a mentor and have become an absolute best friend. You are so kind and so generous. Um, you've supported me through everything the last four years. You have um, made such an impact on my life. You've brought me closer to Jesus by letting me see you, by modeling um, a great relationship with him in your own life. You are so kind and welcoming. Um, you've loved me through my good times and my bad times. Um, you've let me basically make your house my house um, from naps on the couch to hugs every time I walk in the door. You have completely changed every part of college for me and I'm sure I would not be the same person without you. Um, I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that um, you've introduced me to Snapple, that you 
um, made coffee for me and made me fall in love with it. Um, and I can't wait to see what happens in the future with our relationship. You're so great. Hey Al, I'm so proud of you. I really wish that I could have lived closer to Rolla so that I could have continued to walk through life with you the past couple years. But when I think back on my time in college, some of my favorite memories were the ones that I had with you. There were the countless times that we would go get takeout pad thai and watch the sunset or just talk about our day and catch up. And then there were all the times that we went antiquing because of course it was one of our favorite things to do. Um, and then all those early morning Bible studies we did, um, I'm pretty sure we were on the struggle bus most mornings from having to get up so early, but there was always plenty of coffee as there always is with us. And then my all time favorite was after I graduated when I flew from Dallas to KC and then we road tripped all the way across Missouri to get to Rolla for your wedding. Um, and that time just to to do life together for a few days and then to be able to stand up next to you while you got married was just such a blessing. Your friendship has really just fed my love of Jesus and I so appreciate you being there through the worst of times and the best of times while we were both living there in Rolla. I really miss you girl. I'll have to come visit the cows soon and of course you and Jason too. Love you. Hi Alex. Congrats girl. You are graduating. When I think back to our time in Rolla, what comes to mind is chasing the sunset, eating all the delicious Thai food, our coffee dates, moving into Canada together, all of our party mate one memories, our three fish, may they rest in peace, our party party dance sessions, a oh, light shine bright, <laughs> you saying good morning to me when I came down the stairs and me giving you a blank stare because I was not awake, thanks for that. Of course, new phone who dis and the day you officially replaced me as your roommate and married Jason. Hey Jason. Um, I'm so proud of you and how you've persevered over these past five years. I'm so excited to see what the Lord has planned for you in the years to come. I admire the way you, that you pursue him um, before anything and everything else. Keeping you, keeping awesome, keep letting your light shine bright. I'm so proud of you. Way to go. Hope to see you in Kansas City. Hey Alex, uh, congratulations on graduating. I'm so proud of you and I love you so much. Um, it's been a great privilege being with you in this journey um, and seeing where God has brought us. Um, looking back, we were we started as strangers and then uh, next door neighbors where um, me and James were pranking you by putting a refrigerator on your front porch to uh, becoming friends and um, starting a relationship together and then uh, God growing that and, and growing us together and, and uh, getting married and um, it's just been an amazing uh, amazing past few years and um, I look forward to uh, working in the same place um, and growing together um, in our walk with Christ um, and growing a family eventually and uh, once again just congratulations I am so proud of you um, and I love you. Hi Amanda! You have been such a great roommate, and I appreciate the calm, structured atmosphere that you bring to our house. As an unstructured person myself, um, I really appreciate that. I remember meeting you as a freshman and thinking that you were just really cool and mature, um, and then later on really admiring you, um, all the dedication that you put into um, CCF, whether that was as the IM chair for a while, um, and then also working on all the CASAS trips. Um, I think one of my favorite memories with you is the time that school got canceled because of weather and someone posted that there was free produce over at the women's house and we just like looked at each other and immediately made a beeline for the door to go grab a whole bunch of produce um, and just uh, have a random little break from school that day together. Um, I also love laughing with you over all of Cinnamon's many antics and the entertainment that she brings to our house um, and just uh, enjoying spending time in the living room together just uh, watching shows or um, things like that. Um, you are a very dedicated, inspiring person. Um, so, so smart and I'm so excited for you that you got your dream position at Wash U. I know you're going to go on to do great things. Amanda, you're dedicated and committed, and I really admire that. I've enjoyed living with you, even though we have very different schedules. My favorite memory was when we decorated for Christmas and watched a Christmas movie, and you made no-bake cookies. I also enjoyed, at the beginning of quarantine, when we watched a movie and ate ice cream. Clearly, I like food, and I like movies. I'm amazed by your ability to keep a routine. It still blows my mind how you were able to wake up so early and go to work, and your dedication to working out. 
That I truly admire. You're sweet, and I'm so happy you get to fill your, fulfill your dreams of continuing your education at Washington. Congrats on graduating. Congratulations. Didn't see you there. <laughs> hey, Amanda. What's up? Coming to you live from the mountains again. <laughs> Amanda, I'm so glad that we became good friends this year. Um, our first bonding experience was through suffering 13.1 miles. Thanks for being there on the hill. It's only me and you there. <laughs> Making it through. Your smile is so contagious, Amanda. You have such a positive attitude and so inspiring. Every time I talk to you, you're always lifting me up or talking about something encouraging in your life. I love that you're a friend that we can be active together. It's so fun to like suffer through long runs or go on day hikes and also like play disc golf. I love having that with you. I can't wait for you to be in St. Louis and me to be close to you. And I wish you the best of luck at WashU. Amanda, I am so thankful for the fitness center. <laughs> Who would have thought that folding towels and having the power over the music controls would have brought us so close. We have spent so many hours in that building and I wouldn't change that for the world. The amount of times we've goofed off is wrong. <laughs> Thank you for being one of my first friends I've ever made in CCF. I remember walking on a shrink and panicking because I couldn't spot you in the crowd, but as soon as I did, I made my way over to you. Um, you've been my rock of a friend that's pulled me in such to in such of a great into such a great organization. You have the cutest laugh. I was gonna say contagious, but she said that, but it's, they're both true. A good sense of humor and amazing listening skills. Um, I'm going to miss having you as one of my best running buddies. Uh, you have a heart of determination and a brain full of engineering knowledge. You'll always be a minor, but I'm excited for you to start your chapter in STL as a bear. I'll see you soon. Love you. <laughs> Hey Amanda, I brought our Chris's with us. Um, <laughs> anyway, I just want to say how grateful I am t that we were able to be housemates as well as work at Ridgeview, um, volunteering at the kitchen last year. It was a great time together, um, just being on the same level. Um, but anyway, I just want to say that I was able to see you thrive through some struggles and some hard times last year. And I know God has great things planned for you and you have amazing things to do as you continue your education through WashU. Bye! Hi Amanda, I'm currently sitting outside of Lewis Park and I'm having flashbacks to when we ran our half marathon together last fall. Um, one of the things that I've always admired about you is your determination and perseverance. There hasn't been a goal that I've seen that you set for yourself that you haven't accomplished. Um, congratulations on graduating college and I am so excited to see where God uses his gifts for you in the future and at WashU. Congratulations. Papa Floyd, congrats on graduating. Uh, thanks for being such a great roommate for the past two years. And I know there's one more semester coming for grad school, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, from Chick-fil-A every Friday to sports on the weekends to Al Mogs to all the good times we've had, I'm just really happy that you've been one of my, one of my best friends here. So, again, thank you so much for all the good times, and I'm super proud of you, and uh, you're going to do great things. See you next semester. <laughs> What's up, Floyd? Uh, man, I first want to say just congratulations with, with graduating from your undergrad. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, it's awesome that you're able to then it just in one more semester get your graduates. That's crazy, man. You're, you're one of the smartest guys I know. And so uh, I know uh, once you get out of Rolla, you'll be, you'll be doing great things. Um, <laughs> I guess the first story I'd bring up is just is when – <laughs> we were both moving into the house freshman year, um, and, and your dad was moving things up, uh, introduced himself to me. I think I met him before I met you, but I think he gave me a, some, some type of dad joke about moving in day, and then uh, my mom was like, oh, Joseph, look, look, another freshman. Oh, my gosh, just go make friends with my mom. And little did we know, I mean, like, <laughs> We'd actually become good friends, man. Um, so I'm just glad that our parents were kind of <laughs> nudging our, you know, nervous selves to meet each other. But beyond that, I mean, from traveling to Mo State all the way to Columbia and, and spontaneous rides and 
um, going to the Grand Canyon and <laughs> just having a ton of different memories, man. It's been it's been great knowing you, and uh, I just uh, <laughs> I just want to pull out a few quotes of uh, slap the bag. Um, don't forget about that. Don't forget about that. Um, never forget to uh, turn off the e-brake. All right, that's a big one, very big one. And then also, don't go to Waffle House at 9 p.m. if you're not expecting to uh, to go on an adventure. So, um, man, it's been great knowing you. And uh, I know you've got more school ahead of you, but you'll be doing great. And so just want to encourage you always uh, to love the Lord, man, and uh, to, to work your hardest and everything. Love you, man. Oh boy, did I think these videos were going to be easier to make. Um, this is probably my hundredth try or something like that. Um, it's hard to keep them short with all the memories and stuff. Um, I'll never forget uh, my trips up to Mizzou, Mo State with Joe and Alex and everyone. Um, and then even our trip to Arizona with the whole crew um, about a year ago now, actually. Um, that was pretty incredible, some great memories. Um, I'm really going to miss taking classes together, um, rooming together even for a little bit. Uh, it was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for just being a good friend from the start and um, a good brother in Christ. So uh, congrats on <clears throat> finishing out the four years. Um, good luck. I guess you're getting your master's after this. So uh, just study hard, man, and uh, I'll see you around. Oh, Papa Floyd. So many things to say about you in only a one-minute video. Well, it can be shortened down pretty simple. Thank you for being a great brother in Christ. Thank you for being there uh, in, in 204 and being a, a great light in 204 and being a even better friend, man. Um, what a treat it was to, to spend my... <laughs> Last two semesters being your roommate, I really appreciate all the times that we got to laugh and uh, just be be goofy college kids. Um, I'm thankful for you, and I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing where you go in life. You're a hard worker. Uh, I'm gonna miss the the clicking of your keyboard uh, during the uh, midnight hours. Um, but all in all, man, you're gonna do great. And I'm proud of you. I'm going to miss you a lot. See you on the flippy flop. Hey, what's up, Floyd? Since I know how much of a big biker guy you are, I am filming this video on a bike. And so I just thought uh, I'd say congrats on graduating. Whoop. Sorry about that. Floyd, you have been one of my best buddies at college. Um, we've had some great times together, um, whether it be watching sports, talking about sports, even playing sports, man. Like, we've done a lot of sports together. But uh, you're one of the most down-to-earth guys I know, and, you know, you're very caring and always there for a brother. And so I'm excited for you as you walk into this next step of life, um, going to grad school in comp sci at s and Ha! But, uh... I know you're going to do great and land an awesome job somewhere. So, love you, man. See you soon.
Congratulations. I love you. Brandon. Hey man, it was so nice getting to know you over these last two semesters uh, when you joined my small group there. Um, you're such a such a quirky and awesome uh, dude to get to know. Um, always wanted to talk about random things like that time we talked about aliens and all manner of other uh, wild and wacky ideas that have to do with doubt in our small group. That was uh, really fun and seeing how you contributed to the group there and brought the conversation forward. You always were asking uh, really in-depth and uh, challenging questions that Garrett and I had to figure out, but that was really awesome uh, to bring the conversation forward. And just getting to see the, the awesome man that you are, man, that was, that was really cool. Um, so glad that I got to know you there um, over the last semester. Um, and I can't wait to see uh, where you go into the future. Yeah, and on top of all the amazing time at Small Group, um, so many more memories were shared too. Uh, just, I know, getting to see Jaeger grow up a little bit. Um, yeah. I hope that he continues to grow as though he were Clifford. Um, <laughs> good luck handling that. Um, but along with that, the, the multiple times you opened up um, your guys' home to us just to chill and make some potatoes as well. Uh, but also, I just want to um, say a huge thank you for the friendship, but also recognizing some of the challenges that you've recently gone through and ones that I know the pain all about, but I think you've handled it really well. And honestly, I can see Christ shining through all of it. Um, so we both just want to wish you an amazing future going forward. Um, good job graduating. Um, and I, I wish you all the best, and I know that God will use you wherever you end up. So love you, man. Love you, man. Hey, Braden. Congrats on getting out of college first. I'm going to miss having you around, hanging out, and playing endless games of cribbage and pool. You are a great friend, and I can't wait to see what your next adventure is. Aiden, please stop singing Lost in the Woods. No, in all seriousness, though, uh, I've even loved all the times that you have started singing something and then it's just stuck in my head for the rest of the day or just randomly pops in my head later on because of you and how you were seeing it um, you are such a memorable person that <laughs> all the jokes that we've had and hearing you say some of the funniest things which i'm sure there's plenty of me too but i just really enjoyed that time together um even this last semester i'm glad i was be able to stuck be stuck with you and i love how much you care about people's personalities and who they truly are to be able to interact the best with them and i think you do a great job with that Braden. and i really respect how much you care about that and but just i love being around you Braden. i'm going to miss you hope you have a great life and that you just continue to chase after God as you have been and you keep inspiring people as you have me. Brayden, I was originally hoping to have Into the Unknown playing and then to scream my head off as usual, uh, but I didn't deem that appropriate and rather I just talk, like to talk about all the different times that we would break into song without any warning. Um, from singing 500 miles every day walking back from Joe with Mo um, to lip-syncing Dear Evan Hansen at the grad banquet. Um, all of those times, uh, memories and all of those times that you'd walk into my room humming and we'd end up belting our heads off. Um, just want to thank you for those memories that I so easily associate with you and it's something that I'm so grateful for in our friendship. Uh, I just want to say that um, you are an amazing friend, you are an amazing officer, um, you're an amazing servant of the Lord. Um, and I know that whatever you have planned, whatever goes forward, um, now that we're both graduating, I know that God will use you in amazing ways. I just want to thank you for all the times that we've been able to share, all the dart games, all of the foraging for mushrooms, um, all of those conversations that we've had, um, you leading me in a small group. Um, honestly, it's something that I truly thank you for, um, and I hope that our friendship will continue. Love you, man. God bless. Take a billion. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Brayden. Um, it's been really great hanging out with you and getting to know you these last few years. Um, and it was really fun being your roommate and all the nonsense uh, that ensued with that. Um, you're graduating now, and that's really exciting. Uh, and we hope that this is not the end for a little family unit here. Um, hope to see you again soon. And don't forget, lettuce. You're at Healthy. Hi, Brayden. Sam here. 
Um, you were one of my first friends at CCF, and um, whatever I'm about to say probably will make you in your feels, so just deal with it. Um, but I've cherished, er, cherished every token of wisdom that you have shared with me, and the love you have shown, and especially every laugh that we've had together, and I know there'll be more, but I can't help but to feel like this is the end of an era to wherever you were, the three of us followed, and I just really enjoyed that time with you, and I know you're going to be led into whatever season is next for you, um, and I'm excited to see what that looks like. Hey, Brayden. Um, I'm definitely thankful for the brother that you've um, uh, been to me uh, for the, I think, two year, year and a half, two years that I've known you, um, and I definitely enjoyed all of the late night drives and, and talks, and also um, going down to take pictures of streams and um, climbing on things and um, worship team and, and, and all those different things. Um, I just, I'm really thankful for you and, uh, everything that, uh, all the ways that we've, we've grown together. Love you. See ya, Brayden. <laughs> hey, Brayden. Congrats on graduating. I'm really proud of you, man. And throughout this whole experience, we've had some awesome, awesome adventures. We drove down to Texas together. We've gone on just random car drives that are just, had just countless uh, talks at night. Um, and you've been the best roommate that I could ever have there. Um, and something else I've really enjoyed is how we managed to wake each other up at absurdly ridiculous times and weird situations. So, it's it's pretty early in the morning right now, um, and I'm about to go um, accidentally wake you up. <laughs> oh crap, my bad. Brayden, the first time I remember interacting with you was during one of the Saturday hymn sings, and I remember thinking, this guy loves life, but he's also kind of all over the place. And on our first date, we were talking about like totally random things, and you were blowing your nose at the table. And between the two experiences, I learned that you are yourself, and it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're at open mic night or helping with the international group on Wednesdays or turkey hunting, like you're not afraid to be you. And I've really enjoyed getting to know you and watching movies and talking at the woman's house. I know that the future might seem a little uncertain right now, but I think that it doesn't really matter what happens because you're going to be you and you're going to kill it. When I was first asked to do a graduation video for Caroline, my first thought was how in the world will I fit everything I have to say in under a minute? Caroline, you're one of the realest people I know. I appreciate the fact that you don't ask anyone around you to be something that they're not, but rather embrace people where they are at. Also, you're always honest about where you're at, and I know that when I'm talking to you, I'm getting the true version of Caroline. I admire how encouraging you are. I know that when I have a bad week, I can expect your encouragement to show up in my Instagram DMs. One of my favorite memories of you is when you signed me up for a 10-day devotional online and just sent me a text saying, you should get an email with this 10-day devotional. We can talk about it when we meet tomorrow. The truth is that everyone needs a Caroline in their life. I'm so thankful that you will still be around in Rolla for graduate school and that you'll continue to be around CCF. I know that God has already used you so much within the community and that he will continue to do so. I hope that I get to see you in real life soon. Love you, girl, and miss you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. I am so thankful for you and your amazing friendship. Um, I really appreciate the times that we've um, spent playing IMs. Um, even when we aren't, weren't on the same team, it was always a fun time. Um, thanks for uh, always coming over and having study nights with me and letting me try to force um, like all of the food in my refrigerator down your, your throat. I'm, I'm really sorry to do that. Um, and you always just make me laugh with your dry humor. I also really appreciate that you always let me come over and plop down on your couch and just ramble on about life for a really long time while you're trying to like study or clean or do something productive. Um, one of my favorite memories with you is the time that we spent 
um, like 20 minutes freezing half to death. It was, I don't know how cold it was, it was cold. Um, while I tried to change your headlight and had my hand like shoved down your, your car. Um, I, I was successful, but I'm glad that you uh, had the faith that I wouldn't uh, actually like break something instead. Um, I've been so thankful for how our friendship has grown over the last few years. Um, you're such an incredible friend that you're always so willing to um, listen and um, just hear people what they have to say. Um, you've made this whole quarantine thing quarantine things so much easier because you're constantly checking in with messages and Skype dates and just seeing how I am. Um, and I really ap appreciate that um, character quality in you. I love you so much and I'm really going to miss you. Caroline, I've really enjoyed getting to know you. Um, it all started when we took Insol's class together and we literally had no idea what was going on. Um, I'm very thankful that you're always willing to play all the intramurals with CCF because very few very few girls would. I'm very happy that you ran for the position of IM manager. Um, I really hope you get it. Uh, at this point, of you see this video, you'll probably um, know. Um, my favorite memory is the one time you came over to hang out with me and Rachel before we played your team in basketball. It was all giggles and laughter, and we literally did no studying. I also think it's pretty neat. Your parents moved to the town I grew up in, and hopefully one day we can explore KC together. Congrats on graduating. Congratulations! Hi, Tandra. Our first memory together is one that I feel is very vivid to both of us. Um, it was January of 2019, and we both went to the CCF ice skating event uh, in St. Louis, and I stuck by your side the whole time, and you stuck by my side the whole time. Uh, and we first bonded over the matter of fact that we were both E-Man majors, and then I switched to Civil Arky. <laughs> For real though, Tandra, it is because of your intentionality that day that I am so involved in CCF in the ways that I am today. And I remember you telling me how you had been praying for someone to disciple, and little did you know that I was praying for someone to disciple me. Our friendship will always be a reminder of God's faithfulness through prayer, and also that you are so loved. Chandra, thank you for always asking me intentional questions um, that really challenge me to make my faith an active one and not just a passive one. One of the most beneficial questions that you ever asked me was, what are you going to do about it? Chandra, you leaving for Arkansas is going to be hard and I'm going to miss you a lot. But to answer your question of what I'm going to do about it, I'm going to come visit you in Arkansas. Chandra, never forget that you are so loved. I'm going to miss you so much and I'll see you in Arkansas. If there's one thing about Chandra, it's that she loves a good party with some good friends. She once bought a party banner and a pinata for our apartment so we'd be more positive and more festive. The fact that we aren't going to have the big grad banquet party really sucks, but I'm glad that we still get to appreciate the grads because Chandra is an absolutely amazing human being. Chandra, you're one of the kindest and most welcoming people that I know. I remember the first time I met you was when I was just visiting SNT, and you allowed me to tag along during everything you and your friends were doing, including going to Taco Bell at 2 a.m. Even as I came to SNT, you continued to be hospitable and shared everyone with me, including your friends and mentors, some of which who later became my friends and mentors. I know the past three years have had some bumps in the road, but I admire how you fix your eyes on Jesus in the trials, and you always get back up no matter what knocks you down. Living with you was one of the most amazing experiences in my life, and my relationship with Christ is so much stronger because of your continual encouragement. My favorite thing about you is that you encourage everyone to be the best version of themselves. I'm so excited to see what this next stage of life holds for you. I know the community in Arkansas is so lucky to have you, and that you'll shine a the light of Christ wherever you go. Thanks for being an absolutely amazing friend. Love you and miss you, girl. Bye. Hey everyone, so I'm sitting in my car recording this because when I think of Chandra Hubs, I think of sitting in my car having extremely long conversations and typically at night. I don't remember the first time I met you, Chandra, but I do remember caving for the first time with you and being really, really covered in mud and not being able to wash our clothes out. I also remember taking miserable night classes at Columbia College with you. But most of all, I remember the conversations I've had with you that really challenged me to step out in my faith and to grow. You were the iron used by the Lord to sharpen me many, many times. And so I want to thank you for that. And I also want to thank you for being courageous and bold at all times. I have no doubt, Chandra, that wherever you go, the Lord is going to use you to be a light in some of the darkest places. Thank you for being such a great friend. I love you. 
Hey Chandra, I know this year didn't turn out how we thought it would, but I have to say this situation has definitely made me thankful for the times that we've had together over the past four years. It's crazy looking back to see that it all started being paired as silver and greens at the women's house, and I'm thankful that that mentorship changed the friendship we have today. Um, it's really cool also seeing that through that mentorship, friendship, um, relationship we've had that I've been able to witness you grow in your relationship with God and see how important He has become in your life and um, how you seek Him so hard through everything. And I'm proud of how you have taken that love for God and have put it into the members of CCF, especially the women, and have given them opportunities for community and just poured love on them. Um, it's been really cool to, to see that. Um, I wish you the best of luck in Arkansas. So thankful for our friendship and can't wait to see how God uses you in Arkansas. Love you, friend. Cole, buddy. Man, I, uh, I'm so thankful for you, brother. I, I wish I was spending this time with you in this last part of the semester. Uh, but um, nonetheless, I'm, I'm super thankful for the time that we did get to spend together. Past, I don't even know, two, two and a half years, three years, whatever it was. Getting too old to remember, man. Um, super thankful for you uh, for a lot of reasons. One, you were always a light in my life. You always held me accountable. Two, you're a hardworking man. You're, you're super inspirational in that area, man. You, you can pull some real long nights getting work done. And three, um, what a brother. What a brother you are, uh, to me at least. And I'm super thankful for all the times we got to spend together, uh, going to Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, <laughs> just doing crazy stuff all the time, man. I'm, I'm gonna miss you a lot, and I hope this video finds you well, brother. Oh man, um, it's crazy how years ago I was looking at grad videos thinking it'd be crazy to be the one doing them myself, but uh, here I am, I guess. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, huge congratulations, Cole. Um, super happy for you. I'm going to miss running into you at the fitness center while you were working there this last year uh, before we no longer could go to the fitness center. Um, but man, you were always a good inspiration to the guys around you. Um, I really loved uh, leading small groups alongside you. Um, you just really um, helped lift the people around you up and uh, it was just a, a pleasure to, you know, serve God's kingdom together. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck, man. Keep chasing after God, and uh, maybe I'll see you around. Well, I was planning on doing this video um, at B-Dubs. Um, however, since they are closed, um, I decided to come in here and raid your desk instead. Um, so I'm really wondering where to start here. Do I start with um, the horrors that we encountered in heat transfer? Or do I talk about the, the amazing support and friend that you and Ryan have been to me um, especially in one of the darkest times that I've faced. Uh, you guys were there, and I thank you for that. Um, or do I choose to start, rather, at the fact that we hit up B-dubs almost every week um, over the last semester? Um, or do I talk about um, how, over the summer, you were a friend um, that I needed, and you uh, introduced me to your church, and you, you gave me a place to stay when I needed it? Um, no, no matter how much we grumbled, no matter how much we doubted it or complained, it looks like um, we're going to graduate. It looks like you are too. Surprise, shocker. Um, and so right now I just want to wish you the best, knowing that wherever you end up, God will use you. Wherever you end up, you will be an amazing engineer. Um, uh, Cole, you, you are an amazing friend to me. Um, you've been an amazing support. You're an amazing man of God. Um, and I know that he will use you wherever you go. Um, so I just know in the future, one of these days, we're going to find ourselves sitting around a fire uh, right outside Ryan's mobile home um, next to the river. Uh, we're going to be reminiscing about all the days that we had, whether that be um, the, the days that we spent hiking down into the depths of the Grand Canyon together and hiking back out, uh, whether that be all the movies that we went to go randomly see, um, whether that be all the conversations or... Um, all the times that we spent together, um, probably dwelling a little bit on the sheer volume of money that we spent at B-dubs. Um, but I just want you to know um, that I wish you the best. Um, you deserve to graduate. You deserve to, to find the job that you, you enjoy and that God can truly use you in. Um, so we've done it. 
or we're about to. Um, and I love you, man. I wish you all the best. All right. Uh, hey, Cole. Uh, it's just it's crazy to think about uh, that four years ago when I came to Rahal and moved into the house that uh, you're one of the only guys left that uh, was there when I get moved in and is now still there. Um, and just to think of how our friendship has changed and kind of grown in, in those four years to at first not knowing you very well at all to now, you know, being one of my best friends and just uh, all the crazy times we had from the trips we took, like the Grand Canyon trip, which was just crazy and insane, and all the times you handed out in our room this past year or so with Ryan, and just doing all kinds in the lake, and, you know, going out and doing crazy stuff, and having fun, and just, you know, just, uh, yeah, I'm going to miss it all, you know, it's, it's not going to be the same, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's sad, kind of had to end like this, we didn't really get to, to go out on a high note, I guess, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to do great, man, with everything you do, and I just hope that uh, this next stage of your life is awesome, and I'm sure I'll see you soon.